Hello, my name is John Pokrant with Professional Control Corporation. Today I'm gonna to go through the three different types of operator panels that are available for the Synamics G120X pump and fan drive. So the first panel is the panel that I have on now, the basic operator panel. It is a two line text display. It does display fault and alarm and parameter values, and you can commission with this drive. You can also do simple cloning with this drive. However, it does have abbreviated text for faults and alarms. And as you can see the parameters, it only shows the parameter number and its value. So you're probably gonna wanna have the manual handy so you know what those are when you're commissioning with this panel. The second panel that we have is the intelligent operator panel. The intelligent operator panel is a high contrast color display. Uh, it allows you to do commissioning as well as displaying the faults and alarms. And you can also clone with this display. It allows you to do quicker commissioning because to change a parameter value, you go to the parameter menu and you can enter each individual digit. So instead of having to scroll all the way through, you can just pick a parameter, enter its value, and then it'll bring it up. It also has a little more information in each line of text. You can also hit the info key and bring up the description of parameters or faults and warnings, the same as it would be in a manual. So you probably don't have to have the manual with you when you use this display. You can also do, in addition to the this standard layout on the screen, you can modify all portions of the screen. You can also do trending as well as bar graphs. So the third type of display, the, the basic operator panel and the intelligent operator panel are both intended to be kept on the drive uh, as a permanent fixture to the drive. The third type that I'd like to go through is the smart access module. The smart access module is intended for commission and troubleshooting, but not a permanent operator panel. So it's a wireless web server module or access point. So you can use any type of wireless device such as Android, Apple, PC, laptop to access through Wi-Fi wirelessly the web pages via the built-in web server. You can also do simple cloning with this panel. So currently the COM LED communication LED is green, which means that the operator panel is communicating with the drive. On my laptop, I'm gonna access the G120 smart access module. I've connected to it before, so I don't have to enter a new password. And as soon as I'm communicating to it, the Wi-Fi light goes green. When I access, the web page in the drive, which is 192.168.1.1, it will initialize the database for the type of drive, the G120X drive, as well as the firmware. So you can see it's a much more graphical display. I can go in and modify parameters by entering the parameter menu. And again, it's just one more step easier. Searching, filtering, um, you can type in this same parameter 2000 I had up there a minute ago. And instead of having to modify each digit or search for by each individual uh, digit, now you can go in and just manually enter that value from the keyboard. Um, this floppy disk on the bottom indicates the state of RAM versus ROM. Right now, I have not modified any parameters, so it is a fixed value. 
Um, there's a jog screen where you can get control of the motor and run it for troubleshooting purposes, either in a jog mode where it'll jog at the minimum run frequency. You can see this is a pump or a fan drive. It won't go backwards, but it will go forward to the specified jog speed. Or you can run it in hand mode, which is not momentary. That's a uh, a maintained type of run-in of the motor. So if I free up control, can go back to the main menu. Um, there's also monitoring in the drive, which shows the set points and frequencies, the DC bus volts. You can do backup and restore. Um, you can do simple cloning. Uh, there's also diagnostics, which is looking at the faults and warnings history. Currently, I have no faults and alarms and no history because we just did a commissioning of the drive. So hope you found this video helpful and uh, helping you in picking out what operator panel you'd like to use with your drive. Again, my name is John Polkramp with Professional Control Corporation. Please check out our other videos and uh, have a good day. We'll see you soon.